Hi guys, Owen here from LES. So in this video, we're just gonna cover a bit on using a road line and picking guidelines as a reference. Okay, so again, we're on Icon 3D. This is the home screen, which you'd see once you power up your panel. So we're gonna go into the dig screen. Okay, so we're just gonna start off with a guideline. Okay, so we're on a terrain model here. So it's a TRM. It's a rolling job, as you can see. So a little bit. So if we're selecting or walking to line walk, we remove these triangles just to make it a bit clearer. Uh, so we're going to configure models. So tools, configure models, remove the triangles. So this is the model we're working to, road model test, LES, and it's a TRM, terrain model. So we take off those triangles, blue arrow, so now we have the line work. So the line work is coming from a DXF that I have selected in as a, a help model, okay? So back in settings, surface, and the second page, you can select a DXF as a help model. So that's showing me all this line work here now. It's only for, it's only giving you an understanding of where you are on site. So it's helping you with where you are in position, as in, it's not, you're not digging to it. You, know, you, can't, you can't select a line from a DXF for position or height. It's just showing you where you are with regards to that model. So basically what we're going to do is we have a .geo file of the same uh, model. So the TRM we're using, that's giving us air cut and fill values, as you can see on the left and the right. So we're still using the TRM. I just have the triangles turned off. So that's giving us a height, but if you want to position, say if you want to select a center line and see how far you are off in horizontal position, we can do that if we have the .geo file of the same model, okay? So we're gonna come into tools again, come down to guideline options. So we have nothing selected at the moment, okay? So if we do have that .geo, we can select it from the pick from graphics tab and line work, non selected. Click into that. So, this is this road model test LES. That's the same model, but this is the .geo format. So, we select that and then pick polyline. So, now it's going to show me that exact same model, but the line work only. Okay. So, I can select whatever line, say if we wanted. Say if this was my center line, I'm actually gonna select this one, okay? Because that's the one we're running on at the moment. So I'm on a, a desktop simulator. So with the simulator, you just need to select, I have a road line selected that the machine can actually track along. So that's what I'm on at the moment. And um, there's no horizontal offset. You can name the line if you want. Coming out of CAD, it's line 140. So I'm just gonna leave it at line 140. So go to go. Okay, so now you can see, okay, this line that's highlighted, you can see the points along the line. This is the same line that the machine is running on, okay? But it's giving me this horizontal position. So it's telling me that I'm, well, I'm bang on because obviously I'm running on the exact same line. So if I zoom into the section view as well, it's showing that my cross here is bang on line with the center line, which is this blue broken line, as you can see. So what we can do, we're just gonna add in a horizontal offset just to show you what it would be like, say, if we weren't on that line. So again, guideline options, I'm just gonna add in a 500 mil offset. Okay, so, so it's plus, that's plus 500 mil, so that's gonna be to the right side of my line. And um, if I had minus five mil, it'll be to the left. I'll show you that there now, two minutes. So enter, 500 mil, okay, so now, as you can see, I'm not running on that line, okay? So I'm still using the center point of my bucket as the reference. So if I zoom into the section view, so my center point of the bucket reference is 500 mil off the line, as you can see. If I selected my right side bucket, so if that, that yellow cross here was on the right side, which you do by pressing the buttons on the panel itself, well then that would tell me that I'm, pro I'm probably 50 mil to the right of that line. So this arrow would point left 
and it could be whatever that distance is between this outermost point of the bucket and that line, 50 mil. Okay, so that's, if I, let's say that was the line I wanted to get on, if I start slewing the machine over, obviously this 500 mil is gonna come down until that cross here is over that, uh, say the center line we're using, then it'll tell you that they are close enough to it, okay? So we're still getting a cut and fill from the TRM that we're using, but we're just getting this horizontal position from this, this guideline that we're using. So let's say if we wanted to use that as a center line, a guideline option, so there's no, okay, so we just go again. So there's no, horizon, there's no horizontal offset to it. Okay, so there's nothing there. So that's the center line, say if that's the center line of our road. Okay, that's all we have been given is the center line. <clears throat> we could put an offset in, say if that road is eight meters in width, you can put an offset in four meters either side of that, um, that center point of, uh, of the line, okay? So guideline options again. So we'll go say minus four meters. Just show you what it's like on the left side. So minus four. So there's the line there to my left. As you can see, I'm at the point in that offset. And it's telling me here I need to go four meters to the left. Okay. Same again then. If I wanted to go to the right side of that center line, take that minus out. So it's going to be plus and back out and four meters to the right. Okay, so it's good in that sense. For whatever, if you, if you do need, for whatever reason, you need to use a guideline, if you have that .geo file in of that model, you can select a, a, a line off it to give you that horizontal position. So this position only. You're still getting your cut and fill from your TRM, okay? So we'll just take that out at the moment and I'll show you using a road line. So say we go to none. So these are the road lines that I have brought in on this model, okay? So untitled underscore 01 is the one that we're actually running the machine on at the moment. So if you have road lines brought in, you can use them there again for a horizontal position. But say if you wanted to use a road line to give you your vertical, so your height, your cut and fill as well as your position, we can do that. So again, we're using the TRM at the moment, so that's giving us our cut and fill. So we'll exit out of it, go into settings, surface. We're gonna remove the TRM, okay? So then select this tab here. So terrain model is where the TRM is. If you wanna select the road line model, okay? Select road line, then you get drop down menu. This is the one that we want to use, untitled underscore zero one, okay? Add that in. So now we can select this. So we have that selected. That's our active model on the dig screen. And again, we're still using that DXF as background sort of a image, okay? So escape out of that, go into dig. Okay, so now there's that center line. That's the, that's the uh, road line that we're walking to, okay? Um, you can see it a bit better. Okay, so that's it there. Now I'm getting cut and fill values now off that road line, okay? So it's not just horizontal position when I'm getting my cut and fill off that. It's, it's zero, it's on grade because again, this machine on the simulator is running two, it's running on the exact same road line, okay? So it's gonna be close in position and height. If you're in your simulator, if you're in your machine, should I say, you're over here, you're, like if you're off that line, it's got, and obviously you can raise and lower your boom and dip around, it's gonna give you your proper cut and fill values, okay? So if we want, that's just giving us a cut and fill, if we want position as well, so we want this, it's showing us our center line already. So this black and white uh, dotted line, that's our center line of that road line that we're using. So you can still use that um, to show you where, where, how far you are off. But if you wanted to use that uh, road line as a guideline and then get your values up here of how far you are off horizontally. Go into guideline options. So guideline, reference center line, and there's no horizontal offset. So now again, we're bang on zero. But say again, we're on that same road and we just have this road line. 
you might not even have this DXF in the background. So you you just literally have that line that you want to that, that you've been given, and you know that that's the center line of an eight meter wide road. Okay, again tools guideline. If we add in a four meter offset, say again that's going to be to the right. It's going to put an offset to the right of that line. So there you go. So now it's still showing me the line that I'm running on, but it's showing me that line for, with a four meter offset. So say that's the right side of uh, uh, black, okay? That's the right edge of the road. And then if we wanna go four more on this side, um, so go line options. Let me just stick a minus in there. Let me just select minus. Then it's gonna give me that same line to the left. Okay, so there's a couple of different options here. Again, you're getting your cut and fill from the road line, and then you've been given your horizontal position, but you've added in that four meter offset. So that's why it's brought the line from center line four meters to the left. Okay, that's just touching on the basics of a guide line and road line um, models or using them. Okay, so that's that for now, guys. And um, next one we're going to go on to is point storing. So we're going to be able to store points on an active model. Okay, cheers, guys. Thanks for that.